How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and review Norman Security Suite 11. Now this program, it seems new to me. I don't know for how long they've been around, but I wanted to go ahead and take a look at them and uh, see how their security suite works and see how it looks like. Now, in order to really find out how they do, we're going to go ahead and take a look at PC Magazine's review on them. And it looks here like they only gave them two out of five circles I like to call them stars but two out of five stars here and editor rating was just fair now let's take a look at the pros and cons that they said about uh, Norman Security Suite 11 for the pros let me just move this to the left real quick the pros they say decent score in our hands-on malware blocking test so they did test it and it did decent in the malware blocking spam filter block no valid mail spam filter block no valid mail okay so the spam filter looks like it was working fine that's a pro now let's take a look at a con the cons here sorry guys let me zoom in zoom back in for you guys the cons it says no protection against malicious phishing so that sucks you guys are vulnerable to phishing attacks now phishing is when uh, they take you to a website that looks like it's real like for example Facebook they'll take you to the Facebook page fabricated Facebook page and then have you log in to a fake page and that's how they get your login info and steal your info alright so that's phishing but it looks like it does not protect against that or exploit URLs which is the same thing it makes you think it's a website that's you know that's a real website but in reality it's a fake website simple firewall vulnerable to attack so the firewall is not very good on Norman security suite 11 rudimentary parental control we will take a look at that uh, missed porn in our tests now I won't be testing this on porn sites with you guys but uh, we will be looking at it here in a bit spam filter missed much spam largest performance hit on our tests so it looks like it takes a lot of performance bottom line is that Norman Security Suite 11 includes all of the components you'd expect in all in a suite unfortunately none of them proved impressive in testing alright so it looks like PC Magazine didn't give them a really good score here now it does MSRP for $16.95 that is kinda of freaking pricey I seen other um, total security packages from other companies for like 30 bucks so yeah that that's that's kinda of pricey guys but this is a website here. I will post a link on the description of the video for the website where you can download a free trial right here. You click on this button for a free trial. And when you do, it'll ask you for your email, name, email, and country. It'll They'll send you an email, and in that email, you can, um, once you confirm your email account, then they'll let you download it. And once you download and install it, this is what it looks like here. This is a free trial. Now, what I like about this um, program is it's really easy to use especially for beginner users right it's got the scan button here check for updates and the quarantine right so you can look at your quarantine objects right off the bat those three buttons are the most important in any uh, antivirus program or security suite I like that about it now when we click on scan computer they have the option for quick scan full scan and custom let's go ahead and do a quick scan to test it out can't do a full scan because that will take forever guys probably even a couple of hours and you can um, maximize and minimize here to see what's going on we'll minimize the scan for now can look at it later and it does put it here in the bottom for you to look at it down here in the bottom guys that's where you can go ahead and click on it and see how the scan is going let's click on the check for updates button it'll check for updates on the right hand side and it looks like no new updates are available but it'll do it here on the right hand side quarantine button it'll sh we don't have nothing there yet we're still scanning it's at four percent but if it does find anything it'll throw it on here and you should be able to remove if you notice here it gives you the option to remove and to restore if it does find a virus all right let's go ahead and take a look at the tasks button here this is where you can go ahead and uh, clear program history the screensaver scanner if if you think your screen I don't know this this uh, this feature seems kind of uh, outdated, you know. Who uses uh, 
malicious screensavers nowadays. But anyway, some screensavers are malicious, so it'll check that for you. So that's good. System check is enabled. Monitors your system for malicious behavior. That's good. Always keep that enabled, guys. Scheduled virus scan enabled. All right. And you can always add a task here. And you can name it. Schedule the time. You know, the, the, the time you want to do it. And system impact. You can, you know, if you want it to really normal impact or reduce or low, that's the performance, what it's going to do. And you can go ahead and create those. And scheduled scan. So that's how you do a scheduled scan on this program. You go under tasks and you go to scheduled virus scan. And that's where you can do that, guys. You can even click on this little, um, this little pencil. That's the edit button, guys. When you click on that, you can schedule a scan right there also. What does this play button do, though? Okay, it's just showing that there's a scan going on right now. It's still at 4%. That's a quick scan, too. I don't know what's going on there, guys. All right. Let's go back. Let's look under the settings. Now, here, make sure you always have real-time protection on, personal firewall on, parental control. We still got to configure that. We'll take a look at it here in a bit. Uh, Anti-spam is on, intrusion guard, privacy tools, all of this stuff is good. So make sure you keep that. And here's our free trial. We can tell that we have 21, uh, 29 days left. And if you like this program and want to buy it, you just click on the update license button here and it'll take you to the purchase page. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this parental control. We're going to click on the pencil. We're going to set an administrative password. We're just going to put password. Hopefully they don't want something too complex. And we're going to choose teenager and create. All right. Now we're both looking at this for the first time, guys. All right, so profile administrator, system user. So we're going to go ahead and select Luis here. That looks like it's the system user. New profile, new password. We're just going to put password. That's password. Profile teenager, create. And here we are. All right. We should be able to edit stuff here. And there it is. Now, where do we actually choose what this person can do or not? Huh. I think that's why PC Magazine had said it had rudimentary parental control. So I don't see anything on here to, um, to be able to do that. Okay, here we are. All we could do is change the password, but that's it. Yeah, guys, this is, um, oh, here we are. Cool. All right. So we got to go to profiles, and then here you could choose from a child, teenager, and adult. Let's choose teenager, and here we are. Pornography. Let's just say to turn that off. Gambling off, abortion off, alcohol, tobacco, partial nudity, criminal skills. Turn. I'm going to turn everything off here. Or wait, is it? When it's green, is it blocking it? Or when it's to the left, it's not blocking it? It's hard to tell, guys. But we doesn't really matter. All we got to know about this program, we can, you know, if we do commit to this program, you can find out later. But we just wanted to know if you can do this, and we can. So we can block pornography, gambling, abortion, and cults, weapons, file file sharing. You can keep that on, you know, download music, whatever, whatever. Gaming, we can keep that. Uh, so there it is, guys. Just wanted to show you guys. You you can you can uh, select all this. It's not really. Uh, that complex so it's really easy to use so I'm pretty sure you guys can appreciate that so there it is guys that's parental control f that's the parental control feature on here and that's about it guys that's all this uh, Norman security suite has for 11 f for 60 bucks uh, I don't recommend this program for 60 bucks I'm gonna give it a, a bad review also just like PC magazine did just because I mean the price on it what I do like about it is that it's easy to use the scan check for updates and quarantine buttons are just right there right these buttons here those are the most important in a, any program and they're just right there really easy to get to that's what I like about Norman but the price tag is high and the parental control is rudimentary it, it doesn't it doesn't seem to be very um, it just seems very basic you can't really get into detail I would like to have a feature where you can uh, block actual websites you know you select which websites but there it is, guys, Norman Security Suite 11.
Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always making software reviews like this and tutorials. Again, like the video. Check out my channel. Subscribe, and I'll see you soon in one of my other videos.